Please pause for the moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Good morning, Bobcat Nation, and welcome back to Bobcat TV. Today we have important information if you are considering joining the military after high school. And the library is making some adjustments. How will this ex change your experience? We have more on this story. I'm Derek Bergstrom. And I'm Kristen Fowler. All that and more today on this edition of Bobcat TV. Ms. Biddick, the librarian, has made some adjustments to how the library works and incorporated new strategies to make it as efficient as possible. Here she is with her updates. Hi, my name is Cynthia Biddick and I'm your librarian. And if you haven't been to the library, come on down. I think you're going to like it. One of the things that we've done, this is the biography section, and the first thing I try to do is get rid of all the boring biographies. So we have things that I think are absolutely fascinating because there's nothing more fascinating than true stories about real people. Now, uh, you can see a lot of the uh, covers on these and all different kinds of topics. And in the fiction section, it's no longer genre-fied to think, oh, no. But it's really good because we've got everything organized in the fiction section by author's last name. If you like series, they're in numerical order, one, two, three, four. We've even put numbers on the spine for you. The library, and what you see here is only a part of our holdings. We also have e-books. We have databases and I can teach you all kinds of secrets that will improve your research your research projects so come on by the library Miss Wilbur and I will be delighted to see you. Mr. Laney our Bobcat intervention counselor tells students the steps they need to take to seek help. Hi Bobcat Nation this is Mr. Laney I'm the new intervention counselor here. Uh, my office is at the very front in the counseling department. If you ever need to uh, speak with an intervention counselor, just come in. You can uh, fill out a request form and put it in my box just like you would with any other counselor. Uh, in, and you can also talk to your counselor and ask if you can speak with me. So, hi. Today is the last day of Gen Tech's week, and this video shows you the steps you need to take in order to join the military after high school. Life is about choices, the small ones we make every day. Get up early or sleep in, spend time with friends or study. Then there are the big choices, like your future after school, go to college, get a job, maybe even start a family. You're at a crossroads. The key is to find the right path for you. To hundreds of thousands of men and women, joining the military was that choice the one that mattered. The military is full of opportunities for those with ambition, lifelong careers, paid education, experiencing the world. For those who wish to commit to something bigger than themselves, it's a calling. And when they look back at those choices, they realize in service, they can have them all too. If you're considering joining, do the research. Ask questions of people who are there to help. Choose a service branch which fits your personality, who you are and what you represent. And when you make that leap, when you enlist or join as an officer, you'll be ready. It's your path, and it's just the beginning to a whole new future. And now for Abby Smith with our daily announcements. Congratulations to the Byron Drum Drumline for being awarded second place at the prestigious Lone Star Drumline contest this past Saturday. 
The drumline will also also won captions for best baseline and best snare line. This contest has an extremely competitive field, and we are very proud of our Bobcat drumline members. Students, please do not bring blankets to school. It is against school practice, and we consider them a health hazard. Students should instead be dressing in clothing for layers, in layer clothing layers for comfort throughout each school day. Now it is time for the college song of the day. Think you know the college the song belongs to? Have your teacher email snobles at nictx.org with the answer. The first teacher to email the correct school name wins and will be announced tomorrow. From all of us here at Bobcat TV, we thank you for watching. Have a great Thanksgiving break, Bobcats.